Every once in a while, my tapping fingers enjoy the thrill of a medieval troll-slaying quest, a game that incorporates ogres, skeletons, and demonic organisms. First Summoner is that game. No, it's not a game that takes place in the Summoner Wars universe, although it could be. Instead, it's a strategic RPG with challenging scenarios. So today I'm reviewing First Summoner, a game that wasn't even on my radar, yet has now taken an arrow to my knee. First Summoner is available on Android and iOS devices. First up, gameplay. Grown-up adult Brave is overrun by demonic forces, so she sells her soul to the Grim Reaper and gains the ability to summon those same demonic forces. That's the story setup. Then go from stage to stage defeating the Army of Darkness. The game is designed for portrait mode one-handed play, and it's all the better for it. Tap to move around, use cards to summon fighters, tap enemies to attack, bust vases to collect mana, or is it bust vases to collect mana? Then use the mana to summon more skeleton soldiers. That's the basic premise, and while this may sound like a game you've played before, I must say it's very strategically engaging. Managing your mana resources, carefully staying at a distance, and summoning the correct soldiers for the job all feeds into your success. I admit, I failed my overlord many times, and rethinking my strategy was a must, including optimizing my deck, equipment and upgrading gear, as well as being aware of my surroundings. The game can be challenging, yet always rewarding, with gear drops and card collecting. Then there's the fantastic boss encounters, some of which left me with a sliver of health. There's also a great amount of content, including side missions, replayable stages, as well as a shadow fight in order to upgrade your level. There is also a PvP type mode as well, although I haven't dived into it. I'm basing my opinion off the single player experience. From what I've played, I'm having more fun than a quiver of arrows. The strategy is clever, the story is actually worth noticing, and I can play with one hand on my phone and the other with a fork full of cup noodles. What more can a low budget YouTuber ask for? Next up, graphics. Feast your eyes on a glorious polygon daughter of Hawkeye. Okay, this close-up render isn't actually in the gameplay, yet it's a great way to see your equipped gear, as well as the awesome cosmetics. I don't think these will help in ogre killing, but it sure will stun them. The actual gameplay graphics do differ, yet they are still full of eyeball-pleasing goodness. It's the atmosphere that really takes center stage here. The gloomy forest is full of devilish creatures, the lighting of fires, and the great-looking models. Seeing an enormous ogre thrust his fist into a puny skeleton is fantastic. Sure, these aren't the best of the best on mobile, yet something about these dark graphics make the world feel dreadful, and just adds to the gameplay overall. Plus, the menus are fluid and polished. Maneuvering through them with a sense of ease really brings it all together. It's refreshing. It's full of life. Well, actually, it's full of death. Finally, free playability. You don't have to sell your soul to the devil, although it can feel like a trip through hell. The monetization is a tricky beast. This can be attributed to the difficulty of its later stages. There will be an inevitable moment of, oh crap, I'm not powered up enough for this stage, leading you to a storefront full of purchasable card packs. Leveling cards is a must for progression, and the game really wants you to spend money to do so. It's not ideal, yet it's definitely a paywall scenario. To avoid this, I grinded previous stages, and it helped a bit. This is not the worst monetization I've seen by a long shot. However, it will have you on a grind. There is also a mode that grants keys to unlock a free chest, another way to progress slowly. So get those arrows nice and sharp. It's going to be a long grind. It's the one negative I have with this game. Not being able to move forward due to these hard-fought deaths, then realizing it can lead to spending money, got my eye twitching with frustration. Now for the moment of truth. Is it a download it, a give it a try, or a waste of space? First Summoner shoots, summons, and strategically makes its way in as a download it. Become a pet to the Grim Reaper. First, I'll get to the one glaring issue with this game. Yes, the monetization is a slog through a demon-filled swamp. However, the gameplay is good. No, it's great. It's to the point where everything else doesn't really matter. The endless waves of undead scum will all fall to my arrows. The amount of strategy within the simple mechanics really shines. It's a major plus, and the decent atmospheric graphics are the extra meat on the bones. I found myself striving for that next piece of gear, just to raise my stats enough to take on the next stage by the skin of my teeth. The rewards are special because you feel like you earned them, something Mighty Quest just didn't understand. So if you want a strategic RPG that's punishing just as much as gratifying, then definitely download it. Or if taking down an army of undead creatures while spending quality time on the toilet sounds like a grand plan, then by all means, download First Summoner. As always, thanks for watching Tiny Little Games. Please subscribe to support my channel, like for more reviews, and ring that notification bell for video updates. 
fun announcement. Marvel Studios announced their Phase 4 offerings, and I am super excited for the Hawkeye series. It's weird how Hawkeye went from my least favorite character to my most interesting one. 